and a spectacular and very interesting aggressive act connected with the burning, the singeing of the king of Spain's beard, which is the sack of Cadiz. Uh, Cadiz. Well, that is um, in Spain, of course. But on his way home, um, the Earl of Essex stopped off at Fado, the Portuguese port, and landed and sacked that too, and took away, entered the bishop's palace, and took away his library, and took it back to England, where he met his old pal, Sir Thomas Bodley, who persuaded him to give the library to, that's the bishop's library, to the Bodleian Library in Oxford, and it's still there. Um, and um, I have to say, very much in the spirit of the alliance, the Portuguese don't mind that it's still there. In fact, they're pleased um, on the whole. And when um, Dr. Mario Swaj, the former president of Portugal, visited Oxford, he asked to see the books. And when he'd seen them, he thought he said that he could see that they were in good hands and he didn't express any desire to take them back to Portugal with, with him. As a matter of fact, and they are interesting, the kind of books that I'm talking about. They're all in Latin. Um, very few of them are actually by Portuguese writers. They're mostly by in international scholars. And it's a sort of typical, I mean, it's a, a scholar's library um, of the kind which uh, the English just didn't have. And so, they, I mean, if they couldn't buy them, they were going to actually go to Portugal and steal the books from, from, from there. Such was the need for this kind of material in, in England. So that's a very good question.